everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 building challenge. I see so many videos on YouTube where people do the every room is a different color challenge and that does sound really fun and I probably will end up doing that. But that got me thinking, why don't we take it a step further? So today we're going to try the every tile is a different color challenge. <laughs> Say a little prayer for me. I don't think anyone has done this yet. Rightfully so because they probably shouldn't because it sounds like the challenge of your nightmares. But please correct me if I'm wrong. If you have seen someone do this link them down below but I'd like to think I came up with something creative and original for once. <laughs> So essentially what this challenge suggests is pretty straightforward. Every single tile of our house that I'm going to build for us has to be a different color. For instance, if we go with blue, everything on that tile has to be blue. A blue counter, a blue microwave, so on and so forth. You get the idea. This will be painful, but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty exciting. I don't want to make a big house, obviously, because I don't want to be here all day crying when I've realized, Sandra, this is the worst challenge of your life, but I'm just going to go for a very regular uh, build. So give me just a minute while I think of a little structure and then we can get into the misery of this challenge. I really have no clue what type of a house this is. This is probably the worst thing I have built in quite some time, but it's really not about the shape today. Oh wait, actually maybe I could go in a bit as well and that way at least one second there now. I just want to make this look, oh no, because there's this. Okay, one second. See the thing is I don't want this house to be massive because again it's going to be so difficult to make this look nice and so far I think I've actually ruined it with this corner here <laughs> oh lord okay it's fine it doesn't matter about the outside it's really what's on the inside that matters today so as per my rules that I've, I'm, I'm making up on the spot I think I literally want every single thing in each tile to be a different color okay and I even mean the windows and the doors if at all possible so just say now for instance is there like blue windows there is blue windows okay so that's fine this could work for us okay now when it comes to like a double door so just say like this area right here I'd be happy enough to go for like just say a blue door that takes up two slots that way then this slot and this slot will both be blue as well as these walls also touching all of that slot they will all be blue I do also want to kind of as best as possible to work with the undertone so if it's like a baby blue let's try pick a baby blue tile because there's obviously loads of different colors and so many tiles that I want to make sure that this doesn't repeat itself and that we're not using as you know the same swatches all the time it's going to look chaotic and it's going to look crazy and kind of hideous at the same time I think this would actually be so funny to actually see what it looks like in the end then I'm thinking do I also go for the same color on the outside of the wall because we could also do this <laughs> I think we should okay now my problem here in this corridor is that like what am I supposed to put here because obviously I want every tile to be different but but as I said, for instance, if I wanted to go just say for this pink rug here, well, maybe not that one actually. What about this peach rug? Okay, I'm gonna put on my move objects key. Just say if I wanted to put this like pinky rug there, that technically takes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles, which I would be happy to find myself like a light peachy shade and use that right there. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I think that makes sense. Work with me here. This is a very spur the moment idea and I, I just don't really know how this is going to play out, but I'm very interested. So just say this pink could go on all of these walls as well as those. And then I'm thinking as we're on this color, we could also pick a nice painting to put on these walls. So just say like this right there, that would be great. Or maybe like a nice little standing lamp. You know, right there in this corner. Oh my God, that's hideous already. Whoa, that's that's pretty bad. Maybe not that lamp. <laughs> See, like this little baby pink lamp. Maybe I'll put two there. That's pretty cute. I'm also thinking then it would be nice if there was a door to the bedroom there. So do we have like a light pink door? Oh, we have these. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, I could use this because like these ones have weird windows. So I'm not going to put like windows. I'm not going to put a door with a window into the bedroom. So I guess that is the color that we're going to have to go with. Is there any nice plants that we could also use here? Yeah, look at this lovely pink plant. Yes, I'm going to put that right there. So see, that's essentially what I mean. I think that's pretty snazzy. Wait a second. Is there a blue version of this? There is. Wait, is this blue? I think that is blue. Maybe I could put that light there 
there instead or although although no i might put this blue light here and then instead i'll go for another little pink painting on this wall okay that's pretty cute <laughs> okay off to a beautiful start honestly stunning so i'm gonna just pick the colors at random so obviously there's only a certain amount of swatches that we can use in the sims but there's obviously different types of swatches so for example in green you might find like a dark green or a teal color so maybe for this instant i could take off two tiles of this um this floor and go for this like dark green and that will be the entrance to the bathroom okay so maybe we could go for like a a rich green like that beautiful okay and then on this wall i feel like we need maybe like a little hallway table you know just something to put down your keys and all your little bits from when you come back from the shop so maybe we could make that yellow yeah i guess <laughs> Like, I want to go for as crazy swatches as possible. I want to see what this will look like in the end. Because my eyes, I feel like it's going to, like, tickle my brain just in the right amount to see all these colors, like, working together. And also, it just really reminds me of, like, the most standard, like, weird Sims vibe. Where everything is just weird. And, and everyone's happy, you know? It's just, Sims has such a creative freedom that I thought to myself, why not push the boundaries a little bit? Because, you know, I'm doing all these challenges recently. And, like, to be fair, I do enjoy enjoy doing crazy sims challenges that people have done before i really enjoy it i like to see whether i'd be good at it but when this came to me i was like oh yeah no i need to do this this is definitely something crazy and totally right up my street and perfect for my youtube channel okay so we've got green and we've got yellow here so far i think i might move straight into the bathroom and so i know that there is this lovely beautiful green toilet this one right here so i definitely want to use this toilet let me try find a nice green tile so maybe, yes, maybe this one right here would work perfectly. Oh yeah, stunning green tile here as well. Now, let's have a think. So if I put, I feel like the only thing we'll be able to fit here is a shower, I guess. Uh, let's think. So these two tiles are technically, oh, they're taken up by green already. So I feel like I should maybe put the bathroom or the toilet here instead. Okay because oh wait maybe here instead actually so then i could use a lovely beautiful maybe like peachy orangey whatever this tone is like there's a bit of gold to it but i want to think that maybe this is like a peachy orangey shade can't really see the floor underneath it which is kind of fine by me to be honest <laughs> yeah maybe we could just go for any kind of regular orange floor and then maybe like a nice orangey um tone there beautiful so i think i've got the bathroom complete so you kind of get the idea yeah, a little bit more now so we've got your little pink corner you've got your green you've got your blue <laughs> and yeah so far it's just amazing and it's perfect and as far as i'm aware it's fully functional even though it feels like it shouldn't work like these things together these colors should not work but it is absolutely possible for your sims to live like this and i love it and i'm obsessed with this idea so far is there like a name for this aesthetic like just chaotic crazy or i don't know i love it anyways let's move on so i'm going ahead with the kitchen now and obviously some of these colors are going to start repeating because there isn't that many colors but that's fine we can work with it so i'm picking out different counters okay and like these ones in particular like the ones that i hate they seem to be great now is this a pink yeah i think that's pink um so maybe we'll go for yeah that i think that's purple is it um or wait maybe let's go for green then we could go for the pink wait i also feel like that's blue that's not even green then maybe i could find like a nice greeny shade see the counters don't have many swatches and that's that's fair to them because realistically who needs these type of swatches in your life i guess we could also go for like a neutral like a wood tone as well i mean i wouldn't be too much against that idea where do i put the fridge also maybe that's where the fridge goes actually wait a second actually what am i even doing Doing. um okay maybe i could do a fridge in this corner maybe a green fridge and maybe this counter actually could be like this lovely teal cooker that's lovely i think oh my god yeah see i think this teal kind of matches a bit better so maybe i'll go for this here maybe that there <laughs> oh god 
god oh my jeez this is just this is getting out of hand actually this whole video got out of hand before i even started recording it so i can't even complain too much wow so pretty honestly no wonder no one has done this before because it does take quite a bit of time to do this but for some reason like fan finding the matching swatches is just so satisfying to me and the idea of like everything being different and nothing really following a scheme and everything being like random makes it so satisfying i don't know what it is i really i really can't describe what is happening here yes let's go for the pink flowers don't forget that even your utensils in the kitchen have to be that particular color so maybe actually i should go for a red microwave yes oh my god the sink actually i forgot about the sink i'm obviously not going to use custom content well i'm going to try anyway um oh no <laughs> wait is there not like a red sink that i could use that's not custom content hmm i mean there is a green sink should i maybe change this okay so obviously that looks much better of course it does <laughs> beautiful okay i'm thinking maybe we could go for a little orange rug just to, br to break the space up a little bit so maybe we could go for a little orange rug like that with some beautiful orange walls and then i'm thinking we should do like a dining area straight away here okay we haven't had a purple table yet so maybe we could go for purple and then maybe some purple chairs as well mm -mm -mm. absolutely beautiful this oh wait no sorry it's these chairs of course it's these chairs sandra oh my god these are absolutely stunning chairs and i'm obsessed with them so this is technically taking up it's taking up quite a lot which i'm not necessarily happy with i kind of just want to take up the four if you get me like well actually this is one two so this is six tiles technically and that's fine i think so like i could go for maybe this kind of fine <laughs> This is making me feel slightly delusional, but like really satisfying. Like you have to try this. You're, you're going to know what I mean. <laughs> it's like I slightly feel sick looking at this, but it also just for some reason is like scratching the back of my head in like the perfect way. Oh, yes, this purple painting. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I seriously like come home from work, like wrecked tired, cooked my dinner at my dinner and then sat down to do this like straight after work, of course, as you do, as one does, totally normal. <laughs> oh, I'm actually thinking maybe in this tile here we should have a bin. Is there a blue bin possible? Yes, there is. Ta-da. We've got a blue bin in this corner. So that tile now makes sense, finally. Okay, let's think about the living space. How about we go for a lovely yellow sofa? <laughs> said no one ever <laughs> god i can't figure out which sofa to go for as if i have so many beautiful options here in front of me i can't just pick one i think i'm just gonna go for the regular or maybe just this one this one's very ugly actually so maybe let's just go for the regular yellow couch this is definitely something you would see in your nightmares and only in your nightmares that yellow corner oh my god i need more yellow there's not enough yellow in that corner oh beautiful yes okay that's stunning i think i think we've got a winner here now i am going to put down a little rug here because i think that's going to really help us out so maybe could we go for like a nice blue rug or maybe green actually green would be nice <laughs> You know, this challenge is also making me really think outside the box because I'm looking at these green squatches and I did not know we had a frog rug and, and now I know it. So again, these challenges are making me think outside the box and figure things out about building, whether I like it or not, you know? Like, I didn't know there was this beautiful swatch of this rug. Like, no one told me this. See, that's stunning. Would it be too much, actually, if I did all of this this color so maybe we could go for like that type of vibe god i really can't figure out which color this is is this green or is this blue maybe maybe i should go just for blue what if we do this oh yeah there's this blue swatch that's nice we should definitely get a little um table <laughs> like a coffee table um yeah definitely this one absolutely is not hurting my eyes at all I if your eyes are hurt it's not real don't worry about it it's really not real my eyes actually at this point are burning for some reason <laughs> Oh yeah, we could definitely do these. Oh my God, yes. Beautiful. Look at that, stunning. Oh wait, there's no windows in this house. Oh, that is a that is a problem. Okay, maybe we could <laughs> add some windows. Wait, maybe, hold on a second. Maybe I could put windows here instead. Yeah, we could go for two of these there. And then maybe I'm thinking of like a little window here somewhere as well. What if we do like a purple window? Mm, there isn't many nice purple ones. Although, are these purple? Is that like a purple swatch? I guess it is actually. 
actually. Or we could go for this one instead. So one sec, if I move this out, I'll do this. And instead I'll put this lovely little orangey peachy painting on that wall instead. Seriously though, I feel like someone had to have done this challenge before because it just, it seems so straightforward. And like, I when I thought about it, I was like, surely I'm not the only person that thought about this insane idea. But I don't know. I would like to know whether any one of you know whether anyone has done this before. Please let me know. I am dying to figure out whether there's any other insane people out there. <laughs> The green light is really killing me there. <laughs> Beautiful yellow lamp. Honestly, that lamp is actually quite nice. I can't even give out. This light is pretty cute. And I probably will end up using this in the future because I didn't realize there was a gold swatch of that. So see, I'm already doing something good. I'm figuring the game out all, all over again. Oh, that is a lovely table. Again, would I have known that there would have been a table like that here? No, I wouldn't have. Maybe I could put... Oh, actually, no. I guess this is way too, way too low. If I could... Oh, wait, I can read it because yeah, that technically is red it's coming up as a red tv so i think that could work for us i also really love this wallpaper this red one it's actually stunning it's from the paranormal pack and i think so is this table so i'm pretty proud of that move wow <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of stuck uh, with this tile. And what I am thinking, because obviously, like, what am I supposed to put into the middle of the room? Nothing. But what I can do is I could put a lamp there. Okay. So what if we go for, like, a nice green light right here? Maybe I could make it a bit smaller. I feel like that's a bit too in your face. But I could go for a lovely, like, green light. That way then it's still on that tile. But it's not, like, essentially on the floor, which is fine. Because obviously not everything is going to work perfectly. And maybe we could have a little grass patch in the middle here. <laughs> Okay, here I'm also thinking maybe we could just put like a plant or something. So maybe like a nice deep purple swatch would be lovely. Potentially this one right here. Whoa, that is driving me insane. But in the best way possible so far. <laughs> oh my god. When you actually zoom out and look at what you've done, it's like, look at yourself. Take a long hard look in the mirror at yourself. <laughs> Honestly, guys, if you're still here, if you're still watching, I'm so proud of you because I don't, I don't even know whether I'm watching myself anymore. So the last thing we have left is the bedroom, which again, could be very interesting. I'm thinking obviously of going for a lovely little double bed. So what kind of swatches um, have we here to offer? Could we go for orange? Oh, but then how is a rug going to work? Mm, interesting. Okay, this could be, this could be weird. I'm kind of thinking what if we go for a single bed just to give us a little bit more options here I think that could be an idea what if we go for this stunning red bed absolutely I think that could work and on this wall I'm thinking I could also do some windows so that could be cool oh I've never seen this window before that's very interesting I don't think I want that one to be honest oh yeah why don't we go for these two massive red windows looking straight into your bed how ideal beautiful red carpet absolutely stunning we we got to use the tile Tigers. honestly like we have to I think the tigers are a must and obviously we're going to cram as many red things in here as possible so maybe this beautiful red lantern right here and then obviously if at all possible I would love to get some nice nice thick curtains because obviously we don't want people looking into your bed while you're sleeping but we just obviously want to be stylish as well so maybe we could go for like these two yes oh my god absolutely delightful the best thing you've seen today all day long actually yeah you're very welcome for this let's maybe go for a nice blue bedside locker absolutely this one should be the contender for us today and i might do maybe a blue plant actually it's easier to put plants on these bedside lockers so we can then put lights on the walls for extra items you know so maybe this beautiful blue plant lovely blue swatch actually love that swatch that is stunning love that color Maybe not in this scenario, but in general, I love that color. Mm, lovely tiles in the bedroom. Absolutely. <laughs> So then I'm trying to figure this out. Maybe we could do like a rug to take up a couple of tiles in the middle because that could be a bit difficult. So I'm thinking maybe this lovely rug, we could put it like in the center like this, this orange one. Oh wait, technically this door has to be pink. So I might move this door over here instead so that this tile would have to be pink as well. 
okay that's fine that's okay thank god i noticed that mistake because that would have ruined the whole aesthetic of the house so thank god we caught that on pretty quickly maybe this lovely little pink patterned wall even though you can't really see it but it's there don't you worry about it it really makes you realize like how little of certain swatches we have oh wait maybe we could actually do this beautiful pattern in this room as well for the pink instead i think that's so much cuter yeah <laughs> yay <laughs> As if that's going to make the house look any better. But at this point, I think more chaos is better, honestly. This lovely... Oh, maybe this lamp, actually. Yes, this is a lovely lamp. Obsessed with this swatch. Beautiful. Oh, my God. We're doing such a great job, guys. Well done. Well done to, uh, well done to everyone involved. Is there maybe, like... Wait, we could actually do, like, a light brown chest of drawers. Like, a, 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 a chest of drawers? What are they called? You know, like I could actually go for like a neutral beigey light brown. I wouldn't be opposed to doing that either. So look, we could go for like this type of wall. And then beautiful wood tones. That's stunning. Okay, I love that idea. And then maybe like a nice window here on this side as well. Question mark? extreme question marks okay beautiful window that could go right there and then some beautiful plants as well of course we gotta stay we gotta stay snazzy you know that's what i always say snazzy is the way to go lovely little little bear holding a red heart cute oh would it be possible for me to add my favorite curtains oh <gasps> i could at least do like a one little curtain wait but why that one why can't i go for this one actually because then that way this would also match a bit better <gasps> whoa adorable love it okay i think i might do maybe green in this corner as well because i'd love to do like more plants so maybe like a nice green in this um this corner left here oh wait i could do this this plant absolutely let's just make it a bit smaller this is seriously like the weirdest thing i think i've ever built in the sims 4 and you know me i do like to build a few weird things here and there but this this has taken you know the leaderboard the top of the leaderboard this is insane oh my god God. <laughs> okay i want a bookcase for sure i want like a lovely bookcase is there any yellow bookcases available for us please please say there is oh my god there's this one beautifully going to take two tiles which are left in this absolute perfect corner for us oh lord maybe not that wallpaper but maybe i'm thinking oh maybe this one absolutely absolutely yes you know, there isn't many swatches of yellow, would you believe? I guess we could go for this one for a change. Lord above, look at this lamp. Have you ever seen this before? Because I think I have and I tried to block it out of my memory. I'm also thinking a nice mirror in the bedroom. Absolutely, you gotta look at yourself before you leave. So definitely let's go for some orange vibes. Yes okay so i suppose i could just put that on the two walls like that you know christ almighty i mean i actually really like that mirror by itself as like an accent piece but in this bedroom what would what do you think the accent piece in this bedroom is because i i can't figure it out anymore <laughs> mm. <laughs> yay i feel like at this point i should also go for like an orange lamp so maybe like this right there <laughs> Oh my god, this this can't really be happening. The fact that I actually managed to sit down and make this work. First of all, I'm pretty proud of myself for managing to get this far in this challenge. And second of all, I think you all need to try this. Whether, whether you like this or not, you have to try this. You have to see what this looks like in your game. And don't judge it before you try it. Because honestly, when you see this with your own eyes in your game, you're, you're going to feel certain ways. And I absolutely recommend it. Also, definitely download this build definitely have a look at this in real life because this is just insane mm, yay a lovely little pink little bush here <laughs> exactly what we needed okay so technically <laughs> technically the whole house is kind of complete now i haven't done the outside yet which i think i will just because i managed to get this far and so far i like my eyes are burning it's the weirdest sensation ever but they're actually burning i'm gonna do a couple of finishing touches um and maybe we could have a look at it like i think maybe inside here instead it would be better for us to have a window here i think you know like a lovely little pink window <laughs> oh my god i did not know these windows 
windows came with such lovely pink swatches. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, aren't I glad I did this challenge now? Because now I know there's lovely pink windows and I can create a lovely pink house if I wanted to. Not that I necessarily want to do that, but you know, the option is always there. Okay, maybe we could do this lovely blue rug here. Gorgeous blue painting. I mean, it's not really the most blue painting you've ever seen, but you still get the idea. It's still blue in my eyes, okay? There's no window in the bathroom and that kind of hurts me. So I'm thinking maybe we could put this light here and try to find ourselves a green window. Is that even possible? Oh my God, it is. Look at the amount of green windows we have. <laughs> Okay, I need a single pane green window. Who's going to be the contender? Who's going to win this green window competition? All of these green windows, trust me, I'm never going to use again. So the fact that these windows are getting picked, they're like screaming. They're like, please pick me. For my first and my last time ever, I'm going to get picked in this game. And honestly, I, I feel bad for these windows because, you know, again, as I said, they're never ever going to get picked again. Maybe I could do like a double window action here. Yes, beautiful double window vibes. Stunning absolutely just gorgeous works works wonders for me mm, yes green curtains to match <laughs> okay i will put down some toilet paper i am not cruel i will allow them to wipe no there is no green swatch but look i won't be mean here's some toilet paper i mean is there enough windows in this house probably not but do i care to add any more no i mean is there anything else really i can add here i don't think so I think at this point, I think I've already added enough. Oh wait, maybe we could do another little blue painting here. Beautiful, this one exactly, this is exactly what I wanted. Just a nice little touch of blue, because we clearly don't have enough of it just yet, so we gotta just add a bit more. <laughs> I want some random clutter. Like, I just want to add more things. Like, look, there's these pink shoes that we could line up here. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yes pink shoes right there absolutely perfect what other pink stuff can i add here wait maybe i could do like a little pink thing like a little oh one of these absolutely that can go there for me moisturizer station we could put like a lovely little moisturizer station right here this wall seems way too bare also so yeah definitely maybe this beautiful pink fox could go there lovely okay that room honestly so much better now so much happier with this gorgeous gorgeous my eyes are burning <laughs> I am genuinely so interested to see what you guys are going to think of this video because I don't think, I, I don't even think anymore at this point, you know? I'm just, I've stopped thinking. <laughs> My thoughts have gone out the window. I don't think I can add any more. Oh wait, maybe I can. Is there any like hanging? Oh yeah, look, this, oh no, that doesn't look very good. Or maybe we could just put like a lovely little arrangement of beautiful orange shrubs in here in, in the bedroom. Stunning, okay, cute. Like this feels like maybe it's like a hoarder's house. I don't know. Don't really know what I think anymore. Oh my God. Yeah, definitely tissues because you're going to be bawling your eyes out crying living in this house. So we need some tissues. This mysterious red box there as well, obviously. That's, that's where all the secrets are kept, you know. The reason why this house was built is kept in that red box. <laughs> Don't open it. Whoa, I have never seen these paintings before. What even are these? Oh, oh my God. So inside, oh my G, oh my God. Okay, I'm about to lose my mind. I did not realize these cute little matcha paintings were hidden inside. Do you know this thing? The thing that tells you don't take any pictures. If you go into the other swatches, there's this beautiful like matcha tea set. <gasps> oh my Jesus, this is amazing. I'm obsessed. Wow, I'm I'm actually going to use this green matcha painting. Definitely will because it's so cute. Oh, I'm so glad I figured that out. You see, you wouldn't have known this if I didn't show you, obviously. So you're very, very welcome. Okay, I think honestly at this point I can't add any more. I mean, I could try, but at that point I think I'm pushing it. So I think what I might do now, really quickly off camera, because I think it would be painful for you to watch this as well, is I'm going to match all the outside walls with the inside walls, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Wish me luck. Okay, weirdly enough, that literally only did, took me two minutes. Um, Obviously, I can't really do the tops of these, so maybe I'll just paint those white just because obviously there's there's nothing I can do with the tops of these well maybe this one could go blue but like at the back here you know I can't like specifically paint these different colors so that's okay that that's that's fine honestly that's okay um I'm thinking do I do like a blue path outside <laughs> 
I really couldn't tell you where I need to take this now, but I'm thinking maybe like this beautiful blue path. And just because there's like pink on those walls, will I do like pink flowers outside? Yes, pink flowers. <laughs> a bit of greenery here for us. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, honestly. Don't know what else you want me to do because this is turning out amazing. Wow. Okay, I hate this house. This house is like literally my nightmares. This house is the house from my nightmares. Oh my God, yeah, there we go. This is what it is. This is what I've created. Do you like it? Do you love it? You should. Please, please say you do because I've spent long enough doing this, this build that you, you have to love this. No, I'm not gonna go any further with the outside because I think I'm just upsetting myself. But the inside though, yes. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, I think this is, this is it. This is the house complete. I mean, should we do a little tour? Dare I step inside this house and show you what it looks like? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Welcome to the creepiest house you have ever seen in your entire life, where you were greeted by a lovely blue tile welcoming you to this very weird deceiving door because it's kind of cute, but it's also a bit mysterious because there's nothing else, just this blue door, you know, with no door handle, just that, you know. Anyways, as you enter this beautiful house, you are met with obviously two blue tiles and the rest is this. <laughs> So you've got your lovely pink accents, which, which honestly, this little part here, I could, I could be okay with this. I mean, we've seen many pink homes, like Barbie inspired. I think pink is okay. Oh, wait a second. I just had an idea. I'm going to paint the ceiling as well. Yes, you are correct. I'm going tile by tile, oh, tile by tile on the ceiling to make sure that I have the same tile at the very top of the ceiling too. Oh wait, I've already made a mistake. How did I manage that? Tile by tile, I wanna make sure that everything matches. I mean, this is definitely a challenge I would like to try again and potentially do like a big house. Not just like a one bedroom thing, you know, like actually properly. Do like a regular, like regular family standard, you know, starter home, but every tile is a different color. And as I said at the start of the video, I'm still going to do the every room is a different color but you know obviously if you're not going to start chaotic then are you even going to are you even going to start you know i mean overall i don't think this was a bad idea but this is definitely the weirdest idea i've had in quite some time but knowing you guys and how you like my crazy videos, I, I think you guys might like this one. So I really, I really need you to tell me right now in the comments after all of this. I need you to tell me, do you like this? What do you think? Are you going to subscribe or unsubscribe after this? That's... <laughs> That's something I need to know. And one last tile. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> so the whole ceiling is also matching the tiles at the bottom. But let's go back into the tour. So now when you enter the house and you also look up at the ceiling, everything matches with the exact swatches that it should. Oh my absolute God. Whoa. That... <laughs> is insane okay let's start off with the bathroom let's start off easy this is your lovely bathroom so you've got your beautiful toilet so when you sit down on the toilet you're only going to be slightly overwhelmed you know by all the other terrifying swatches but you know you're going to have a great time you are met with this lovely yellow corner here to calm you down right before you enter the absolute danger zone oh my god when you <laughs> When you actually look at this, it just, I can't even comprehend how this makes sense. But the fact that it's possible is just the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> imagine cooking here. Oh my God. Imagine, imagine cooking here. Honestly, those chairs though, I think that that is the best textured object in The Sims 4. Like, look at it. They actually look like properly like fuzzy, soft chairs. Of course, you have everything. Everything in the colors that you need and everything in the colors that you want. Everything is right here for you. I honestly... I honestly love those windows and these curtains. I think that set up here, like if the room, if you kind of just like black out everything else and you just look at those windows, I think that would actually be pretty. But everything else is a crazy disaster of interior design choices, you know? Make sure you sit down here and wipe your tears because my eyes are actually burning. I don't know what it is. Maybe I am just tired, but I think it could also be the amount of colors that my brain is trying to process. I do love this red wall though. So I do have a soft spot for that red wall. And honestly, that matcha, 
painting absolutely 10 out of 10 i'm so glad if this video has taught me anything it's the fact that this matcha painting exists and i'm gonna use it forever now so yeah i'm glad at least i did that beautiful beautiful little cute little pinky shoes and your blue bin and obviously this green tile that you thought was impossible we've got a green light so everything is possible right then let's go into the room where supposedly a bedroom should be the room that you think you could relax in but <laughs> oh my god how could you how could you even close your eyes imagine waking up in the middle of the night and turning on your light and you see this like <laughs> whoa like weirdly enough it's like so satisfying to look at all this it just feels so rich and so full and so like cluttered and it feels lived in which sometimes when I build these homes I obviously have like this catalog feel you know that like nothing has been touched and it's so sims and so like unused but this actually feels like it could be someone's house and they've lived here for years and they've managed to paint every square of the house a different color this bedroom honestly like try relaxing here impossible I love the green though I love the green vibes here in the corner and like the fact that we have like one singular sliver of neutral I still had to add a little bit of neutral because you know what you can't live without a little bit of neutral and this is your neutral and that's all you're getting I'm afraid <laughs> So that seems to be kind of everything in this house. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what you're going to say. I don't know whether you're going to unsubscribe. I don't know whether you're going to give me a round of applause at the end of this. But I needed to do this. I had a need. I had a, I had a weird brainwave, okay? And I needed it done. And it's the weirdest thing. And I'm so glad I did it because, I don't know. I think maybe I'm going to have to put like a sim in here. Maybe I'm going to do like a proper version of this. And we can do like like a let's play in this house i don't know we got to do something or do you know that let's play that little not little simsy that deligracy is doing with the, the different color sims imagine if they all live in a house like that imagine maybe that's what i need to do maybe i need to do like a massive mansion but every tile is a different color maybe that's what i need to do yeah maybe <laughs> If I'm going to still be sane after editing this video, I might do another one. Well, guys, it is now dark outside. It has took me that long to complete this video, but I'm I'm glad I, ma I managed to make it out alive to the other side of the video. And if you are still here and if you watched this whole roller coaster of a build catastrophe, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please let me know what you think of this video. As for usual, if you have any other suggestions after seeing this one, maybe something will spark in your head. Let me know. The craziest thing, I will try it because I'll obviously I have nothing to lose at this point except for my eyesight as for usual don't forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and yeah guys I think I might see you in the next video <laughs> thanks so much for watching bye look at it oh my god I love it I think it's my favorite house I've ever built yeah it is public service announcement I am calling Lil Simsy and James Turner to try this video yeah you have to try this video I'd love to see how they would manage this challenge now I've said it here first